So today we're doing a uh, pretty easy home repair, uh, pretty common problem. So I've got a toilet tank here that's uh, the fill valve in it has been really, really slow recently. It takes forever to fill up and uh, it's kind of noisy. So I flushed this thing about five minutes ago. You can hear this. Put mic on there. You can hear that. So it just kind of fills real slow. It fills slow. Takes forever to fill. You don't get a good flush. The tank just doesn't really uh, fill up to any kind of volume, and so the when you flush, you don't get a strong flush. So this is a pretty easy repair that you can do yourself, save yourself uh, a few bucks by not having to call a handyman or a plumber. Uh, you can do it for yourself at home. Picked up one of these uh, Fluid Master toilet valve fill valves from Walmart uh, for about six bucks, and uh, this will save you. Quite a few bucks it's a really easy repair and we'll show you the steps on how to do it so before we get started the first thing we need to do is turn off the toilet uh, the, the water supply to the toilet um, you don't want to disconnect this and have water spray all over your uh, all over your bathroom so um, you're going to want to uh, just turn the valve here the, there should be a, a, a line uh, connecting from from the water to your tank and you'll see it, it'll be braided uh, stainless steel or something on the outside here. Sometimes they're plastic. Uh, the better ones have uh, the braid on the outside. Um, but um, you want to go ahead and turn off off this uh, this valve. Just turn it clockwise uh, to shut off the, the water supply to the tank. And afterwards, af after you've uh, shut off the water supply, you want to remove, you want to flush the toilet so that you drain the tank completely and um, get all the water out of the tank and then when you take your tank lid off you need to be real careful removing it um, you don't want to set it prop it against a wall or something where someone might come by and knock it over and then it break because um, it's hard to find a match uh, uh, replacement uh, tank lid to match your your toilet and uh, you'll end up doing a much larger repair than you really started with replacing the entire toilet so be careful with your tank lid Make sure you set it uh, on a flat surface, you know, a piece of carpet or something, but set it flat on the lid. Don't prop it against anything. That way it doesn't get stra uh, scratched and don't set it where someone can trip over it and break it. Um, then the residual water that's left in your tank, you're going to want to take some dry towels and sop that water up so that when you disconnect the coupling nut here at the bottom for the fill line and uh, you... Uh, release the nut, that, the compression nut that's holding the, the fill valve in place, you won't leak too much water on the floor. If you don't have much water that's in there, you can put a, a catch bucket underneath so that when you do disconnect the, the, uh, the components here, uh, you can catch the water. So I've drained all the water that I can out of this tank, and you can see that If we look at this, the tank is not nearly empty. You want to empty this tank as good as you can so that you don't have water uh, leaking onto the floor um, when you disconnect the line and then remove the fill valve. So the fill valve is, is right here, and we're going to be replacing this part. So I'm soaking up all the excess water in the bottom of the tank with just some dry, some dry towels to sop up the extra water. And that'll just make this less mess messy when uh, when I take the fill valve off. So the next thing you're gonna do is take the drain line or the uh, the fill the fill uh, the water line that connects to your fill valve and typically these have a thumb nut uh, so that you don't over tighten them and uh, break because these these fill valves the threads are plastic so on most uh, modern toilets this uh, fill valve will have plastic threads here and you'll have a plastic thumb nut uh, to attach this so that you can't over over torque this nut um, on older toilets you may find that this is actually you need to remove this with a wrench uh, if that's the case and you have a plastic threads on your on your uh, replacement valve um, you want to make sure that you don't over tighten it you want to tighten it snug enough that it doesn't leak, but you don't want to over-tighten it to where you actually strip the threads or, or break the threads here 
uh, on the bottom and you end up with a leak. So that's one thing to be careful with when you, when you put the valve back in. So disconnect the nut. And there's going to be a little bit of water in the line, so I'm going to try to keep it upright when I disconnect it. Yeah, a little water came out, a little bit of water there. You can sop that up. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to try to get in close here. Let's see if we can see this. So the next thing we're going to do is disconnect this nut right here on the bottom of the toilet tank. Hopefully you can see this right here. And this one should be finger tight as well. I'll try to get a good shot of this. Yeah, so right here. You want to loosen this nut uh, to remove it from, uh, you're just going to unthread it all the way off so that you can take the, the fill valve out from the top. So the, the nut on the bottom of this fill valve that, uh, that seals the, that compresses the, the washer that seals up the fill valve from the top to the bottom and attaches it to the tank, this nut on mine's a little bit tighter than I would have expected to be. I would have expected to have been uh, just snugger than finger tight, but you can take a pair of channel locks and, uh, and loosen this. So once you disconnect that uh, the nut from the bottom, the fill valve will fall over, kind of loose like this, and you're gonna wanna lift it out. I don't know what this junk is on the bottom of mine, but that's gross. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna uh, eat, there's a, there's a, on the fill valve, there's gonna be a line that you're going to see going from see if you can see it here. So this coupling line goes from the fill valve down here to uh, this is the fill tube that basically puts water uh, into your tank, uh, or so that, uh, that this fills this fills the bowl um, after you flush. So you've got to basically fish this. Fish that hose out, and you can take the, the fill valve out intact. Um, so now we're going to take this, uh, we're going to replace our old fill valve with this uh, fluid master. You don't have to use a fluid master. This was just what was available at my local Walmart. Like I said, this is about six bucks, and uh, this will save you having to call a, uh, a handyman or a plumber to come out to your house and do this for you. So basically you have the valve, new fill tube, and a clip, and then the, the nut, that, the compression nut that uh, clamps the bottom of the tank to this, uh, this ceiling uh, washer right here so that you don't get any leaks around this. But like I said, this, is, this thread is plastic. This nut's gonna be plastic, and if, you're, if your fill line um, is, uh, is got a metal nut on it when you attach to this. Just be careful not to over tighten so that you strip the, you don't want to strip these threads. Once you, uh, once you get this mounted in the tank, you can do it before or afterwards, depending upon where the, this, uh, this little, uh, the, the little spout for the, the fill valve attachment. Uh, if this, if you put this tube on and it interferes with you being able to, to mount this, um, then you can put this in first, but, uh, you you can also put, put, attach this after, after you've installed the valve. But I'm going to install mine first um, before I put it in the tank. Just make it easier because I won't be able to, to push this tube onto this, uh, this fitting here. So this is basically just um, like a friction fitting for this tubing. So you push it on. And it's going to go, there's a hose barb uh, uh, right in here. So you need to push the, push the fill tube on far enough that it gets past the neck of the, the hose barb so that, so that it doesn't come off. You don't want this to, uh, to pop off, so you want your, your fill tube attached securely. All right. Put that through the hole. 
Now we're going to attach the nut to the bottom. I'm going to try to get a little bit better angle on this. Attach this nut from the outside and hold this centered in the hole and upright so that when you attach the so the, the gasket that's around the bottom of the tube to keep this from linking uh, from leaking is um, it's like it's fluted so it's got a it's got a proud edge um, that's going to stick down through the hole and you want that centered uh, before you attach this compression nut so um, that way it gets a good seal so part of that uh, part of that gasket is going to stick down uh, stick down past the, the lip of the, not past the lip of the tank, but it's gonna, so it's a little bit proud from, from being flush. So it's gonna stick a little bit down into this hole so that uh, you get a good seal uh, around the pipe. And uh, when you tighten this, you just wanna f uh, finger tighten it so that you get a good compression around the rubber gasket, but not, like I said, uh, you don't wanna over tighten any of these things that are supposed to be finger tight. So you shouldn't need to use a tool uh, on this to tighten this up. You should be able to just make it finger tight and get a good seal so but you do want it good and snug so it doesn't leak and uh, that feels pretty good right there um, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and attach uh, our fill line again back this is again another thumb nut uh, so you don't want to use a tool on this uh, you want to get a you may have to replace this if you're uh, if the rubber uh, around here is is uh, damaged in any way uh, So now we have our fill valve remounted and it's time to turn the water back on. So, and check for leaks. So we're gonna turn the water on. I'm not seeing any leaks under here. So you can see that the vent tank is filling now, and it's filling a lot, a lot faster than it was before. Also, this valve's um, quite a bit quieter um, than my previous valve. If you need to adjust your fill level, I don't know if you can see here on the video, but there is a max fill line indicated right here uh, on my tank, um, and you can adjust the fill level. Um, by adjusting the float level, um, by uh, if you turn this uh, uh, clockwise, it raises the float so that you actually get more water in your tank. And if you turn it counterclockwise, it'll lower the fill level. So as long as you're getting uh, a good flush, you don't want to over, you know, you don't want to overfill your tank and waste water. But um, uh, you may have to adjust this a, a little bit with time, um, depending upon how how uh, uh, how much your bowl is filling and how how much your tank is filling you may want to adjust that so that's all there is to uh to that repair um like i said it takes uh or i didn't say this before but uh you'll save yourself quite a few dollars it if you're not filming it takes you um i don't know 10 minutes 15 minutes to do this um, you really don't need any tools unless you've got an older an older toilet where it requires uh, you know, a wrench or something to get the the uh, the fill line detached from the fill valve. Um, I had that one nut that was snug, and I had to remove it with a pair of channel locks, or just loosen it up with a pair of channel locks, and I was able to uh, finish loosening it by hand. But really, this this repair is fairly straightforward and simple. It'll save yourself a few dollars, and uh, hope you, we can save you some money uh, and let you not have to hire a handyman or a plumber. So, uh, good luck.